Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Time for um, our last Virgin beer review uh, from our sour beers little set that I've done today. Um, if you just found us here on YouTube, go and give us a thumbs up. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We're at Hop and Beer, like good house music. We're on the beer side. Uh, do have a look as well at our Facebook page. There's not much up there at the minute, but I'll, I'm going to get round to it. Um, yeah, it's at Hop House Beer Reviews on Facebook. Okay, so we're carrying on with our sour beers. Uh, that is my boiler whirring in the background, so apologies if you can hear it humming and whirring away. This is another Virgin Beer Review. It's going to be the last one of this set, as I said. Right, I'll show you what it is. It's from Brew York. So it's a... Uh, I suppose it's like another new brewery to us, really. We did the joint venture they did with Vocation last year, Christmas Day, the Sweet Temptation in Morrison's. Still available there as well, 6.6% .6 chocolate caramel stout. Beautiful beer, but that's that beer. This is this one, and it is Goose Willis. Goose Willis, 5.3%, it's a gooseberry full sour. Look at the design. They do go all out with the design to Brew York. And they always have like a little pun on the name of their beers. So they do like a juicy IPA called Juice Forsyth. It's got a picture of Brucey doing that, you know, the old pose. Uh, they've got another one called Rhubarb Streisand, which is like a rhubarb beer. You get the idea. So it's all sort of tongue in cheek punny. So that's a goose, is it? Gooseberry, goose, gooseberry sour, 5.3%, 440 mil can. This is also in Morrison's. Uh, it was three pounds, three quid, three quid. It's still available now. Uh, I got this a couple of months ago, but it's still available there. It tells you all sorts of th things on the on the back as well that we'll read out in a little bit. Brew York are a really quite well renowned um, craft brewer up in York. I've not had much from them because you, they've only just dipped dipped their little toe. They've only sort of had a little. A little pointer in going into supermarkets and the majority of stuff I get is from the supermarkets this is this channel is aimed at sort of accessible beer for everybody um, and a lot of the craft beers and real ales and things like that I'll get at a supermarket and then I'll tell you what I think so it's nice to see someone like Brew York you can tell you can, you can sort of I don't want to be beer snobby because I'm not a beer snob but I, I like hobgoblin and stuff from Marston you know I, I like big brewery beer as much as small brewery beer but this is very crafty, you know, the, the artwork on the can, the fact that it tells you all sorts of things about how bitter it is and hoppy and probably tell you what the hops are and the malts and everything. So Brew York are very well known for being up there, up there in terms of craft beer um, respect, craft beer admiration. You know, a lot of people do like Brew York, especially Northerners. Northerners are proud Yorkshire people. We like, we like, we like our own. And let's face it, Mor it's available on Morrison's. Morrison's are a supermarket from Yorkshire, and they do have a lot of Yorkshire breweries. They have Northern Malt, they have Vocation, they have Magic Rock, and they have Brew York, and Kirkstall Brewery. So they do have a lot of the Leeds, West Yorkshire, and York-based brewers. Right, I'm waffling. Let's get it out into the glass. We have got the soy the old moot cider glass for this. Is this going to be any different colour? None of the others were. I was at... I've, I've seen some other beer reviewers pour out sours that are like pink and purple and bright green and all sorts. This is gooseberry, it's goose willis. Maybe it's green. Who knows? Let's have a look. Whoa! I've just spilt some on the floor. Should clear that up in a minute. That was a rigorous pour, that was. That's why. My own fault. I really launched that in there. And to be fair, oh god, it's really hissy and fizzy. Can you hear that? Over, over the sound of the boiler. I can smell it from here and all. Right, give me one second. I'm just gonna decide to chuck half of it all over the dustbin lid. Not half of it, but drops. A couple of drops on the floor. Stand by! Stand by! Sorry, that was a really random tone of voice. Stand by! I don't know what that was about. Right, you've been in the glass there. Shall we get back to it? There we go. Whoa, it's really carbonating from the bottom of the glass upwards some high levels of carbonation there it is a again golden more like bleeding through at the bottom golden sort of cloudy cider that's what it looks like 
a bit like the last one did. Cloudy, cloudy cider, white head on it. I didn't think the sour beers had much of a head, but they've all had sort of white heads on them so far. There you go, that's what she looks like. Interesting. They've all sort of looked very, very similar. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed because I didn't know what to expect. These are all, you know, I'm, I'm relatively new to the, the sour world. This is only my second batch of beers that I've done sour beer wise. Um, and they're all supermarket available. Some of them from Lidl and some of them from Morrison's and Tesco. And so are they going to be the best sours that you can get rather than going to an independent craft beer bar and paying about seven quid a can? Yeah, of course they're not. This is a three pound canner. Right, let's go for the nose. So we're going to give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. As I'd expect with a sour beer, it tastes like the soda pop gum that, where the syrup's gone. But I am getting gooseberry. More so than the first beer we had, the Tone Burst. It's a higher ABV. 3.2, this is 5.3. I just rhymed that as well. Probably don't know it. Smells tart, smells gooseberry, but it does smell soda pop gunny. I don't know how else to explain it. Again, if you're just if you're just watching this review as a one-off, welcome. Hi, how are you? All right. And what I mean by that is when well when I used to go, so I don't know if it, you do it with branded stuff. I'm guessing so. It's the same principle. But the only way I can describe it is when I was a kid, I used to go to the local working men's club when they had a family fun day on. So we were going on a coach trip sometimes. And you'd, you'd get like a half a Coke, right? Your mum would get you a half a Coke. But it wasn't Coca-Cola. It was like fucking Bob's Cola, Roller Cola. But if the syrup had gone, you could smell it and taste it. And it was like, oh, you know. So it's like the soda pop gun in a pub when the syrup goes. That's the only way I can describe it. But I can only describe it as the cheap one because I've never had proper Coca-Cola or Pepsi when the syrup's gone. It only happened that one time and it's clearly scarred me for life. But I have found that, um, sorry, don't mind me, rearranging the kitchen on video. Um, I found that all sour beers I've had do resemble that smell, so it's not a smell that would put me off. However, it was one off. I've never had a sour beer before, and they give me that a go. Oh, God, landlord, that's, that's wrong. But it's not, it's sour beer. Right, bottoms up down the hatch, let's get into this one. tastes very whiny very like a wine very much so the gooseberry elements there it's tart ish but it's quite sweet apologize I've been burping throughout these set of reviews I think there is some form of sort of soda water or something fizzy in it that gives it that but it makes me burp it's got rid of me indigestion I mean I've had a little bit but it's got rid of it so that's good um this is a nut the way I'd explain this right is brew York I think are probably the higher end of craft beer compared well no I think vocations right up there but Magic Rock have been taken over or had shares in from a big company and people say their beer suffered this is what I've heard as I've said on other beer reviews I'm not an expert on working in the industry I don't brew me on beer so I'm just going off hearsay and rumourville and all that kind of stuff so what I'm talking about now could be absolute crap it really could excuse me once again but Brew York I'd say are independent through and through and I think they're held in high regard it's really got me going now um, I'm talking about beer groups that I'm in on Facebook and they really do high uh, really do hold 
brew York up in high regard and and the thing is I can taste it in this beer when I say I can taste it I mean in the quality of the way it feels in your mouth mm. yes there's fizziness there especially at the water at the end there there's some sourness. I'll go, I'll go into the flavours. Tell you what, scrap that. Do a bit of laser vision. You don't really need to sort of do it with this beer, I don't think. But actually, that lace is really, look at that. Look at all that lace is, eh? Look at that. That's what I mean by, tell by the quality, I think. Um, hmm. So mouthfeel wise, body wise, it's the best of the bunch, by far. Yes, you've got some fizzy elements to it, which you do in all sour beers. Maybe that's where the soda pop kind of thing comes from, soda water-esque. Um, but it just is smoother. It's a slightly thicker body, it's smoother. It's more pleasant to have on your palate. Flavor wise, it's nice. It's nice and it's refreshing. I'll give it that. It's nice and it's refreshing, but it's the sweetest one. It's the least sour and it's the least tart. But overall, it's it that's why I think it tastes like um like a wine. Not like a really dry wine, but like a sweeter, fruitier wine. But the body and the mouth feel Superb. Superb. The body and the mouth feel I was expecting. The taste and the flavours. <clears throat> I was expecting this one to be the one that really rips my tongue out and really makes me go, whoa. Again, that was whoa. And it hasn't. So am I disappointed? This is the question you've got to ask yourself. Go ask yourself these days, are you disappointed? Um, I don't know. Right, let's have a look at the, what the spiel says on, on the back here. So we've got very small writing. Right, Goose Willis, Gooseberry Full Sour. Maple ID, my mother plucker. Get the gooseberry full sour made with something. That's uh, that's too small for me to read that. Right. Maple ten may mother plucker. Get this gooseberry sour made with Nelson solving hops in your chops. Originally brewed with brew dog. York for, for Colab 2017. This juicy, well balanced sour remains a firm favourite with all of our brewers at Brew York. If you weren't drinking it, we would be. Uh, hops Nelson Sorvin, it's got a 3 out of 5 for, for something ability. Can't smell that writing is. How are you meant to read that? My eyesight's good. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, lactose, milk, hops, gooseberry, lemon, yeast. D something something. Is that like the soda pop gunny bit? Um, it's on the fruity, it's quite large on the fruity and sweet. Mouthfeel is quite big. Malty and hop is quite small and bitter is quite small. And yes, I'd agree with that. I would agree with that. It's it's quite sweet for a sour, but the mouth feels there. The mouth feel really is there, uh, and the rest of the stuff on there is even smaller at the font. So I, I'm sorry, but I haven't got I've got a magnifying glass handy. I'm not games master. Uh, what do I rate it? I was expecting it to really rip me tongue to shreds. And it hasn't. It's much more pleasant. It's the most pleasant out of the four to drink. Probably because of that mouthfeel, but as a sour, 
I'm not expecting sour beers to be pleasant, I'm expecting them to be... I'll give it a thumbs up. Purely for the mouthfeel and the body, I'll give it a thumbs up. Um, it's not as sour as I thought it would be though. There is a part of me that's disappointed about that. I think I was really bigging up this beer in my mind to be... Yeah. It's pleasant enough, so it's a thumbs up. I'll, yeah, I'd buy it again. Uh, I, I could probably see, I could see the other half trying that actually, because it's fruity, it's like a fruity wine, it'd probably go well with food, like you know, a bottle of Chardonnay or something. Like, share, subscribe, thank you for tuning in for this lot of reviews, uh, we'll be doing some more on another style another day in the Hop House, ciao for now people, ta -ra.